get right. This is the only bit I'm recording beforehand. It'll either age really well or really badly. But I reckon I can learn how to do the ring muscle up in one session. Let's give it a go. Hello and welcome to another video. My name's Swithers and today I learned how to do the ring muscle up. So, first things first, what is a ring muscle up? A ring muscle up is an exercise performed on gymnastics rings, such as these, and is a combination of a pull up and a dip, very similar to the bar muscle up from this video. So now we know what a ring muscle up is, is the title of this video clickbait. Why do I think I can learn how to do one of these in one single day? Well, first of all, I got these gymnastics rings for Christmas, so I've been using them for the best part of a month already, kind of getting comfortable on them and learning how to use them. Secondly, I spent a long time researching the technique of the ring muscle up. Throughout this research, a consistent theme I see is that the strength required for a ring muscle up is actually less than you would need for a bar muscle up. It's just the technique that's more difficult. So, as I can do five bar muscle ups, hopefully I should be able to do at least one of them pretty quickly. So, I've learned the technique, time to get outside. So I went out in the literally freezing weather, no seriously, this is what the garden looked like at this time, and I got to doing some warming up. First thing to do was check that I could still do a standard muscle up on a bar, as it has actually been a little while since I tried one of these. So with that check out of the way, it was time to start practicing for the ring muscle up. So I set up my rings over the bar and did some pull ups and dips and some other warm up exercises just to get my muscles used to working. After that, it was time to try the main thing that I was worried about. So the ring muscle up requires a different type of grip on the rings called the false grip. You basically have to have your hands and wrists in the position to do the dip portion of the ring muscle up from the start. So your standard grip on the ring looks like that, and your false grip on the ring looks like that. So to try this, I'd put a bunch of chalk on my hands and my wrists so I'd have as much grip as possible, and then I tried holding this false grip position. I started with my arms bent because it's much easier to hold in that position, and then slowly transitioned into a dead hang. I could just about dead hang in this false grip position, but it was very painful, so I didn't want to do it for too long. But the main takeaway is that it was possible. After practicing the false grip, I wanted to try the full movement a couple of times. So to do this, I adjusted the ring height and did a couple of assisted muscle ups with my feet on the floor. So this was taking a lot of the stress out of it, but just practicing the full movement, getting used to that transition phase. Just a quick aside, if you are enjoying the video at all, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It really does help. If you're not enjoying, leave a comment down below and let me know why. I'm always looking to improve. After all of that, it was time to finally try the full muscle up. I knew I wouldn't have too many attempts in me, as my wrists were already hurting from practicing the false grip. So, I set the rings to the correct height, hyped myself up, and gave it my best go. Here's what happened. Oh, that was good. That was really good. I'd done it. I'd managed to ring muscle up on the first day I've tried it, on the very first attempt. And on top of all of that, it actually felt kind of easy. As it always happens when you discover a new skill, I instantly wanted to try it again. So after a couple of minutes rest, I went for another attempt. And here's what happened on that one. Oh, that hurts. 
This completely exceeded my expectations. I'd managed four full ring muscle ups, dropping into a dead hang in between every single one. Now, I'm going to call one thing out before somebody in the comments does. Yes, technically, to finish a ring muscle up, you're meant to turn the rings out at the top. However, due to an old injury in this elbow that I'm not going to go too much into, I don't have that type of mobility in my arm. So I actually thought this lack of mobility would hold me back from being able to do the ring muscle up, but luckily, everything appears to be fine. So that's the end of my one day journey to the ring muscle up. If you want to see a video where I kind of explain some of the exercises I've used to get to this point, then leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to make one. I'm definitely going to keep practicing this movement to get more of them and to get the technique better. So keep your eyes peeled because I'll probably make another video on that in future. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then of course hit that like, subscribe and bell button so you can keep notified of new uploads in future. And as always, comment down below, what exercises should I try and learn next? Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.